You're listening to Being Mr. Boop. Wouldn't it be nice if we were married to Cartoon Hot for a bike on Betty Boop? My name oh, is Lisa work. Doop. I know, and <laughs> I am Mr. Boop. <laughs> Uh, my name is Ryan Pfeiffer and I'm Mr. Boop. Uh, Ryan, it's Sunday, March 2nd, 2020, and today we're reading the 14th ever Mr. Boop strip. What happens in today's Mr. Boop? It, 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 Lisa. Are you going to do <laughs> Wouldn't It Be Nice? What? Why? Are you, I don't know, I just thought that was what you were doing. <laughs> No, I was just Lisa. mumbling. Uh, at least in today's <laughs> Mr. Boop, I wonder if they'll talk about sommeliers again in this episode. I don't know what oh, that is. Oh, mean. Me. I mean, us. When it says they, I guess it means us. Oh, but I don't know I what forgot. a sommelier is. We talked about this before. Okay, I guess we are discussing sommeliers. It's, like, a, it's a wine guy. <laughs> not a, not a wino. I mean, same thing, honestly. No, you know, oh, sommelier, you know, you like... Mm, oh, well, you I see, did the thing a, is, we, did, we, we, we I in detect, that old episode... I did check in that hint. old episode. Yes, in the old episode. It's not that old, it's from in last the, week. The, the, in the old episode, from the um the pre-this episode period... What, what, um, what? We couldn't think of the name of it. And we never came... So when we you did. call on the word sommelier... We did, like, like, we did come up with it. No, we didn't. We did! I, I googled you, the word! <laughs> Maybe you did, but um, I edited the episode. <laughs> no, I just I blank out when you're talking. Oh right, well. <laughs> <laughs> um, Somalis, they 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 like. Mm, I detect a hint of rosewood or whatever in this wine. Then they're all full of shit. Sounds cool. Because they be there's been tests done where they give. Uh, them a cheap wine and an expensive wine and the ex- experts can't tell the difference it's all just wine wine is wine all the oh, yeah. you know <laughs> um well whatever i don't drink anyway i don't know i don't know what i'm talking about i don't drink either yeah T- drinking is for losers they're probably drinking grape juice in this well i yeah. we haven't even said all right um well we're sa- shadow synopsis um siren blasting in, well, I should just... How do I read this? All right. Shadow synopsis. <laughs> last boop for the day. Get your last boop for the day. And, um, what and for day, the week uh, as well. Are we in... Is this Sunday for us? It is, is going Sunday. up on Sunday? Yeah. Nice. All right. Panel one. The shadow synopsis, by the way, is by the author. It's what he tweets out. I didn't realize there were so many of them. I didn't. I thought that he just did it for the first few ones, but he seems to do it for like. No, he keeps doing them every day. And we don't even need to write synopsis. Should we just, uh, listeners, write in if you think we should stop trying to write synopsis and we should just copy and paste. Write us at at uh, we should write us at um, write us write us at. Uh, please stop the shadow synopsis segment at mrboop.com. Is that our email? No. You get no. You said Mr. Boop. Does that not go to us? Do no. we not get at Mr. Boop? You said Mr. Emails? Boop. No, it's at. It would be at beingmrboop.com. Oh. We're not. If you, you keep, that, you, you um, keep thinking the podcast that. is called just Mr. Boop. <laughs> Listen, man. Sometimes I do that with being Jim Davis as well. Like, you, oh, what, yeah, you think it's jimdavis.com? <laughs> yeah, it's like a late night show. What happens if I go to jimdavis.com? <laughs> You probably get Garfield. I don't know. Well, he doesn't even own that website anymore. Oh, it's a um, unregistered dom- It's a premium dom- domain name. Oh. If see, if this was being Jim Davis, they would they would s- think- they would try to see how much it costs, and that would really take it and try to look into buying it. I wonder how much. Gar- I'm, I'm, I'm going to actually gonna get that. You you start describing. It. I'm going to look into okay, buying so GarfieldForever.com. We'll um, Betty Boop and Betty Boop and Alec Robbins are. Um, oh, it just says the site can't be reached. It doesn't say I can buy it's, the domain. What Garfield Forever? Yeah. 
Oh. Unfortunate. Try and un- try it. I guess someone's got it already. I feel like I linked Kim. Garfield Forever as a website on something. Oh, it was on the Battleship posting Twitter account that that means some friends run. <laughs> mm. With it has I'm no. I'm pretty posts sure I got it. to JimDavis.com just a second ago. No, but it's, now it's not loading. It's a. Uh, it's just an unregistered domain. It's a placeholder. But yeah, but now it says now it says can't be reached. I don't know why, but GarfieldForever.com it, it it's it can't it's nothing right now. You can't even buy the domain. We could, but don't they own don't Chris and John own it? But they didn't um they didn't renew it, so so it doesn't oh. go anywhere anymore because they need to like renew it or whatever. I guess they have, I guess they they still kind of like have that option and no one else does i don't know so i don't for know how context, that works everyone um Garfield no we're not giving any a context po- <laughs> is, is a we're not giving any context and that the script the twitter description says the only okay Garfield fine give 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 descri- give context then whatever and um being jim davis got upset at that so they decided to we're buy supposed the to not Garfield give context forever. so that they go and, and listen to every episode of being jim davis uh, oh, well, and every episode of I um, they were, I, if you're I listening they were to this enemy. podcast you have to one listen to every episode of being Jim davis and two in order to listen to every episode of being Jim davis you have to listen to every episode of bear friend tea party and three and sandwich club no you no you don't need to listen to sandwich club no? three in order to listen to every episode of bear friend tea party you have to listen to every uh flowers of disgust album which of course i've done yeah. all that I oh. haven't. I haven't. I've done none of that. Yeah, no, we haven't done any of that. So, we, but we don't listen to Mr. Being Mr. Roop, so we don't need to. We yeah. just record it. <laughs> but no one else is allowed to listen to it unless they do all that. We will block you if we find out. Right. Have you started you. describing this? No. You say, I, what did you, you say? You distracted. You distracted me with um Garfield Forever talk. What was the last so thing I you t- said? I, I, I actually I said that um they're sitting at a they're sitting at a table. No, Alec you just and, uh, you said Ryan will block you. Is oh, you I said, said yeah, Ryan will block you. No, the being Mr. Boop Twitter account will block you. Oh, yeah. If you if we find out that uh, if you, you listen mess- to if, if you well, listen to being you... Mr. Boop without having listened to all the uh, pre, pre- well, predecessors. We if we heard it like in the heard it from someone else, we can pretend we didn't we don't know about it. But if you DM us or add us saying we haven't, then we'll block you. Well, if we find yeah. out, so we so if we find out, so if someone tells us that we don't know for sure, you know, so that doesn't so yeah, yeah. We, we wouldn't block you for that. Exactly. But that, but it's There's not. There's lots of loopholes you can get. And away. if you tell us, we also don't know for sure that it's true. But if we get evidence that it's true, like if we <laughs> quiz you and you don't know, then we'll block you. don't know which member of their front tea party. Um... Yeah, and we don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> we don't. Either. Yeah, we're gonna so, have to. It's not really helpful, but, you know. Anyway, uh, well, this well, bit so there. All right. Um, so, well, I think this is great. This should be its own thing. We, what? Should make this as, as being, um... Being, being what? We're not being anything. We're just talking. We're, being, we're, just, being, you know. we're just saying, <laughs> listen to things. <laughs> or we'll the block first, you. Listen, 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 Panel the first one, listen Alec and Betty are at dinner. They're, they're, we saw in a previous strip, they were like at a, going, to, going to dinner. They were going to... Not the previous trip, but in a previous trip, they were at a restaurant going to dinner. And this one, they're at a table eating dinner at a restaurant. Uh, I would assume at a restaurant, given how it's all set up. We see a bottle of wine on the table. Uh, Betty has a wine glass. Alec just has like a glass of water. Uh, And they both have plates. Uh, There's a lot of analyzing this. What is on their plates? It's like... A, like a kind of steak shaped thing or like I would say that's liver I would say so that's I'm, liver I, and mashed potatoes I can't, if I ha- if I want to make it out what, I have to get real think? close to my screen I'm afraid of getting um, some kind of cancer so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna look that close into it well why don't you just pull up the actual strip and zoom in 
It's just yeah. like a black. It looks like coal. Yeah, I would say it's liver. And the other it's thing, the, the other thing is clearly mashed also. potatoes. Ah, uh, do the mashed potato. Do the alligator. The other thing is said, clearly nah, mashed potatoes. Nah, nah, I would nah, say nah, the meat nah, 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 is like nah, nah, liver. Nah, 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 nah. That's what I would say. What do you? What is? You're just doing uh whatever whatever that song is. You did. Oh, uh, land of a fa- yeah. land of a thousand dances. Uh, but because you got to do the mashed potato. Boom, boom. Do the. How does what does the mashed potato have to do with land of a thousand dances? It's a line in the song. It's one of the first lines. Oh, I don't you know. You do don't the know. mashed potato. Um. You do the alligator. Bugs, uh, no, Alec and Betty are uh, s- sitting at the dinner table. Yeah. Um, oh, God. There's a and candle Alec in the says, middle of the table. Yeah, yeah Alec, and there's a wine. Glass. Okay, Betty is sweating looking at Alec. They're looking at each other, and Betty is sweating. Alec says... Bugs Bunny at work said he was going to kill me. And Betty says, Oh! That's oh uh, oh uh, oh oh we did have one for dot 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 didn't we oh electries I forgot to write that one down she says oh <laughs> electries that's surprising electries she doesn't say electries so I should okay she says oh electries that's surprising electries but Pale the way two. she actually said it would be oh that's surprising well yeah but. In, they in, if, they if we, it could just be commas in yeah. that case. Well, I was just exp- I was just saying for the people who are confused. <laughs> panel two. Okay, panel two. We've got on the left side. We've got a favorite shot of um Alec, the um above the shoulder shot with Alec on the little right. Is this a reoccurring he's... shot? Yeah, oh, I've described it ten times already. So <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> So okay. um, he's got his. Li- you can see he's got his little hands on the table. He's really small. Oh he's God! Yeah, they're like they're like. Yeah, he's below the table and he's he's, kind of, he's like reaching up towards it. It's like he can barely reach his dinner. The spe- he's, Betty's he's speech Betty's speech coming off off from the right is covering the dinner, but he's his yeah. hands reaching at the table are like claws, <laughs> my, not like my not my like Lego claws the like the therapist had, but just like. Little claw hands. Like a xenomorph. Sure. Anyway. <laughs> uh, and Alex is Alex smiling and he says ah, He's got a V he's got a U mouth. I would of some sure, some description. Sure. sure. And Alex says I think he's just joking. And Betty's speech bubble coming off from the right reads Yeah, probably Electries. <laughs> Panel three. <laughs> Um, oh, what are they even eating then? I, 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 I like think black. it's liver and mashed potatoes. <laughs> well, oh, for God's sake! All right, panel panel three is like a is like a reverse shot of of the of, of panel two, uh, where we see Betty. It's a reverse shot, basically. So it's the other end of the table. It's Betty. Yeah. She's still sweating. She's sweating. Like, she's is, sweating even is... more now, and she's avoiding eye contact with Alex. She's looking away from him, and she, and it's from her like, hips upwards instead of um shoulder upwards, like it is Alec. Yeah, I guess to see. In fact, she her her hair is like reaching the top of the panel because she's like mm-hmm. taking up that much space in it, yeah. as opposed to Alec. You know, um, Alex he's sweating a lot more now. If you didn't yeah. notice, he was sweating in the first yeah, I said panel. That. You definitely know now. Alex, no, I know. I'm just saying. I said she's sweating in panel one. She's I know. I'm not saying you one. didn't notice. I'm saying that if your average reader didn't notice, well, they're not looking at it sweating. anyway. You better not be. Okay, looking. But if we find out you're looking at the strip <laughs> oh, while you're while you're listening to this, we will block you. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like, if someone we will lose it, all all forty notice. of our followers that don't listen to this podcast. We have forty <laughs> followers. Yeah, apparently. I don't know. We didn't even mention this. Alec Robbins, the creator of Mr. Boot, retweeted the first episode of this. Yeah. Which is more than being Jim Davis can say about um, Jim Davis. Exactly. Yeah. Take that, being Jim Davis. I think... I hope people listen to I hope they're not um, turned off by... They listened to the first episode. 
And it didn't get any. It got some likes, and it didn't get dislikes on YouTube. Of course, you know you can't. Uh-huh. Uh, it wasn't on ta- podcasters yet. Can you get yet. statistics on statistics on those on pod? Yeah, pod I, I don't know. Some? Whatever. <laughs> I think Fireside probably has some. Uh, I think it says how many downloads we have. I'm not going to look it up right now. Um, I'll look it up. I'll but have well we, we have had I'll diminishing returns you. every day. <laughs> It was yeah. like a few hundred the first day, and then like not as many every other day. Yeah, um, bad, but I but I didn't expect anyone to listen to this. I did expect no, Alec think- would like interact or, or, or I mean like acknowledge this at some point, like in, to some degree. But not on day one, you know the the camp Yeah, I didn't like, expect him to like retweet the podcast on day one. You know when people are like, um, they're like, I'm gonna be. I'm going to be uh, tweeting out photos of celebrity until they acknowledge it. And on right. day one, yeah, that happened with Well, the because Mark we're retweeting the, the, the strip that we're talking yeah, about every day. Then, so I, that's why I figured he would, like, acknowledge it in some way, <laughs> but not day one. Yeah. I think it was because I, I, I tweeted, like, a few days before, like, because he said, he, tweet, he had tweeted something like, um implying that he had never made a comment called Mr. Boop. And then I was like, and I never made, I'm not starting a podcast called Being Mr. Boop. And I think that's how yeah. he and it was true realized for both about it. <laughs> yeah, it bo- both, both, both are true. <laughs> Which is why this podcast this is, is ending now. This is You're more, listening. This is, right. Well, this is more of a podcast that recaps uh, moments from Being Jim Davis than it is. You're thinking of Being podcast. Being Jim Davis. Oh yeah, so I was actually thinking problem. earlier. Uh, <laughs> when this theory. podcast is over, we should revamp "Being Being Jim Davis" to be um, like a you know how they have Talking Dead and like those type of shows where they like I like that idea a lot. Yeah, so we should do like a weekly like at the end of every week of Being Jim Davis, we like talk about like what did you think of that week of Being Jim Davis? Like how how how, how did they do this week? How did Chris and John do this for- weekend? That would definitely <laughs> force me to listen to the new episodes. Yeah, I feel like because well because we we discuss uh, ignore that car going by. We did we okay. discuss being Jim Davis anyway, <laughs> so we just make yeah, a podcast. Exactly. We discuss this podcast that we but we and then when we're on it, it's just like how did we do this? <laughs> I mean, I mean, they do have like cast members from The Walking Dead and Talking Dead sometimes. So yeah, we we would we would call it Talking Jim Davis. Talking Jim Davis. What about? I think I prefer the awkwardness of talking being Jim Davis. No, 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 no. Being talking. Well, they always like replace a word or whatever. Like being talking. How about? How about? Um. What's a word that's like talking that sounds like, more like being? Squawking. So like, a oh, oh, how about Jim Davis beat? A no. corking, a morking, oh, a snorking, no. a hawking. That's a I don't know. Hawking, hawking. I can't think of anything. This is a this is another dumb discussion. A being, a being, a sneeing, a peeing, and weeing. You're, we're, you a save, all right, save, save, save your scatic oral call imperative for the end of the podcast. Uh, <laughs> oh, I will. I will. <laughs> Alex, speech <laughs> bubble coming off from the uh, almost the almost the corner of the of of the third panel on the left hand. Uh, no, I like bottom the, left. Now you see, I like the we we say this every day, but Mister Boop is a really well drawn comic. Like for the art style it's going for, and this panel here. Like all these panels are great, but I'm really big fan of the. Sweaty it's a it's a very funny guy. art style. I wouldn't say yeah. it's necessarily like. Well, I mean, it's visually appealing to me. It's visually appealing in like a f- way that's funny. Um, I it's mean, not it's not the type of art style. <laughs> it's not like a professional art style that I would that I would see in like a newspaper or something. But I feel like that's what it's going for. Is is like is like a more funny like you look at it and it's like oh, yeah. well, oh this is like a guy drawing really... a comic about himself and his wife you know yeah like it, it's it's going really it's funny. going for an unprofessional tone in that way well, i yeah. think i know i i just i just appreciate the the um I, I like the job i like the way it's drawn i think it looks it looks good to, to me and it's the way i enjoy yeah it's funny it's a funny it looks yeah. funny it's good 
Uh, anyway, his speech bubble <laughs> reads, anyway. he's really funny. Or do you want to read it? <laughs> oh, uh, he says, it's re- he's really funny. Yeah, and Alex's speech bubble <laughs> reads, he's really funny. <laughs> yeah. Panel four, uh, mm-hmm. we get like a return to... This is a format we see a lot where it's kind of like... Um, it's a it's like a kind of structure. Yeah, so... You know, and I didn't think up. there were really a lot of... Um, I didn't think they they really did that 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 there was any any formulas like this in Mister being uh, in in Mister Boop. I I figured it was kind of like different and not structured like that. Um, but I'm noticing. I, it's funny. I actually am noticing a pattern where where there is a um, there is a formula for some of these where it's like yeah we get a shot close up reverse shot of that close up and then return to the first shot. Mm. Um, I think it's more nat. I think it's more. Um, it, I, I don't think it's like he's trying to mimic the structure of, um, you know, formulaic newspaper strips. I think this is more just like a naturalistic way for him to get his jokes across. Like, he's oh, I agree. This, I don't. You know, I don't think he's trying know. to mimic anything there. Yeah, I think. Th- but I, I, I'm not even sure this was an intentional. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's more. I th- I feel like he probably would have would notice as he's making them, but I don't think it's. It's. Yeah. I don't think it's like this is a formula I'm going to use. Um, but yeah, panel like four to- is like is like panel one again. Um, Betty's sweating even more. She's avoiding eye contact still, and she's like kind of nervously drinking out of her wine glass. And panel. What is, um, wait, what is- so I want to discuss the structure here. Yeah. So what do we? Got well, we're not got? done yet. Hang on. <laughs> okay, but okay. Whatever. Alec is looking at the uh, audience, and and uh, he's, he has a think, a thought bubble, a thought bubble coming off of his head, and his thinkalog reads, "Electries." He sounded kind of serious though. Electries. Yeah. All right. What do you want to say about the structure? Okay. So. How do you describe the structure of a four-panel comic? So you've got like setup, and you got setup, and then I feel like the last one's a punchline. I guess the middle two are build up. But the Being Mister Boop doesn't up? usually have like punchlines in a traditional. No, way. yeah. Did I say being Mister Boop? Again, you did. Oh fuck. I mean, we don't have punchlines, but it kind <laughs> of has that defla- It has that deflation. I guess so. It's got punchline deflation. Maybe that's one of the. I don't know. I just want. I don't know what to say. I don't know what's going on in these middle two panels, from a narrative sense. Like, I mean, I know what's that conveying, but what do I call this? It's not build up, is it? Is it? I kind of feel like the way these strips play out is just kind of going through the motions of like. Yeah, he's just kind of saying what want what he wants to be said, and it's not like it's there's yeah. not really any sort of narrative structure. Like maybe, there's I, a know, structure like to the, how it's the, how it's like presented uh, visually, you know, but not not ones. like how it's written, like the text. The early ones, I think, were more build up, set up, and then punchline. You know, because the first one, I where disagree. It's like build up, it's, I f- the first one where it's like build up. Oh, this is my wife Betty Boop, and then the punchline. He's like, I gotta tell the guys that wife like this. Or not? I guess you like could you could read it that way. I guess you could read but it I think that way. As it as it comes a- more along, it's more just a series of events. I would say the first one could also be read as just a series of events. Well, I mean, everything's just looking a at the of looking events, back but... at the first one. His hair has already been a lot more simplified. Yeah, I think. And Betty's hair is getting more to her. Her hair becomes like less like Betty Boop and more like more oh, like an exaggerated like the way Al- a, a specific way Alec draws it, where instead of her like swirls of hair, they become like just points. It was kind of yeah. like that in the beginning, like but it becomes more and more like that. It very quickly it became like she does. She looks more like Betty Boop in his art style than just like trying to draw Betty Boop. Yeah, I really like. I think this. I really like this. If I'm trying to pinpoint this, mm, I'm not sure. It's hard to it's hard to say when it really happened. I would say, I mean, like, I would say two like days that, ago. Too. I would say two days ago is when it really was the turning point. Yeah, 
because she you because think, her eyes yeah. still had were more like Betty Boop. I think by this point then. in the strip, this is the art style that um we all know and love. This is the art in style the that kind of sticks world. for a while. Yeah. Um, I do. I think Alec does like kind of become a, a, a bit more um gremliny in in like size in uh like exaggerated in that way but betty I think, stays like, pretty for, consistent it's it larger i think they mm. stopped doing the short jokes eventually i, don't, I, I wouldn't say really they're remember. short jokes i would just say that's that's how he's drawn is like kind of yeah he's and i think he's i think that man. does get a little bit more exaggerated in the future let's see Okay. Well, we don't know. We don't need to check that right now because we'll see. No, we can um, look back at all the old ones, like they do in this uh, Bing and Davis. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, they don't look at ones in the future. <laughs> not, not really. Not that much. Um, not yet. Not yet. So, what do you think of this one? I like this one. You know, not. I mean, the the high. I haven't really them, processed. Like, all right. There's no. Yeah, this one's not. Rock. This one kind of. I feel like takes the punch out of the it's last a, one a little bit maybe yeah no it's like kind of it's like a um this is the setup no this is the um build up you know i guess i like i like alex naive day in the last strip and i feel like it's it gets a bit lost here like and and i don't i don't think that's a funny way to end this strip just like or it's not as funny i've said this I've, i've said this on on being jim davis a few times but um a strip doesn't it doesn't have to be funny. Sometimes it can be and make you feel another thing. Well, every Garfield like strip Gar- is funny. A, a Garfield, like I said, a Garfield doesn't have to be funny. Sometimes it can just be cute. But they and are this all one, funny. This one, it doesn't. Have- oh, okay. Um, even the one about his pipe. Where's his? Yes. Pipe? What are you <laughs> fucking talking about? Of course, that one's funny. <laughs> now, uh, Chris and John said that was one of the best strips. <laughs> anyway, so I don't think that this one has to, this one doesn't have to be funny, but it is funny. But um, I mean, it's it's got some of that Mister Rip like, humor in it. I but I cheap. I think I think Alex I think, like kind of kind of think think a log at the end where he's like, hmm, it just uh, it's kind of seem kind of serious though. I feel like that it takes the punch out of the last it, one where he's yeah, just like, it, oh, it makes it, you know, he's not gonna yeah. kill me. It's a joke. But the way it can, the way this is what makes this be perfect, and the, the way how it fucks with itself and makes it more awkward just adds to it, you know. I can, like, oh, he's really... I can appreciate that perspective. I, I, yeah, I don't really, um, I don't, I don't dislike this strip. I just didn't find it particularly mm-hmm. funny. I feel like, yeah, the, I feel I like, think, I feel yeah, like, like I the said, last, it's, it's... I feel like the previous strip is funnier without this one. It's build up to towards. Well, there's more happens. afterwards, so we don't know where this is going yet. But yeah, the previous strip I would say is funnier without this strip after it. Yeah, I think like, it, if, there, it if this was the last strip, I would say, I would say, get rid of it. The last one is funnier. Like, I would rather it ends on the previous strip no, than, than on this I strip. Disagree. So if That's you would you would Bruce say that me. you would prefer if it was going to end on either this strip or the last strip, you would prefer it ends on this strip? It would be so much more funny. Yeah. Why? I, I think so. Because it just ends on like a fizzle. It just fizzles out. <laughs> it's just like I well, guess I can see that. <laughs> you know. But it's still not it but like it's I'd, still like I'd, even I'd still to... it's a less funny note to end on. I I disagree. Well, you I think mean, this one's funnier than the last strip? No, no, I think the last one is, like, on its own, the last one... If that was the last strip, that would be a very funny ending. But do you think, do you think strip, this strip makes the last strip funnier? I... Mm, well, I mean, if it just cut off like this... Because cause that's what I'm saying, no is if, it, ever, cause if this, be this one doesn't really... If this one doesn't really make the last strip funnier, and it's not, and it's not funnier in itself... Then that's why I think it would have been if if it was ending on either the last strip or this strip, it would be better to end on the last strip. Well, maybe let's just our different approaches to um, comedy. Well, I don't I really that, understand why it would it what it would be better to end on this one. Because of how because it's the etymo etym I, I don't know what word I was trying to say that it's like 
the peak. No, I get of, I get like the last panel is the a funny thing to end on like as a whole, but like the whole like it, it just ends like cause it just ends on a nothing strip that's hilarious. It's awkward. Like what what this strip is trying to be. This whole comic is trying to be. And it's perfect. I'm not saying this is the best strip. I'm just saying in this hypothetical scenario where this is the end one, I'd be okay with that. Right, no, I get I'd... that. That's what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. I I had a thought a second ago and I lost it, so you're hosting this one. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, you've been listening to this, the boop. Huh? You can visit the show's website at www.beingmrboop.com for a full catalog of episodes and to sign up to host the podcast. For more updates, follow at MrBoopPod on Twitter. This podcast was brought to you by the Pitch Drop Podcast Network. Like what you just heard? Support the show by going to patreon.com forward slash pitch drop. And while you're at it, check out pitchdrop.net for more of this and other shows. <laughs>